Hey, this is Nicolette and today I'd like to show you how to create a desktop calendar right inside of Canva. If you don't already know me, I help female business owners create gorgeous, cohesive graphics that they can share with confidence using Canva. So let's get started. So in the beginning of the year, I created and showed you how to create a calendar image right inside of Canva. And since Canva has come up with a much easier way for us to do this. So if you like switching out your desktop calendar like I have over here, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that inside of Canva in just a few minutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Canva account. You're going to go to this plus sign and bring up more designs. What you want to do is you want to scroll until you find this desktop wallpaper over here and you want to click on that and now you'll see right on the left hand side a few options that you can pick from. So I usually like to pick the free option. So there is September. This one you'll have to pay for. How do you know if you need to pay for something? It will tell you it's free or it'll have a little dollar bill there. Okay, so let's go through and look at a few more. So here's one of my favorites, the one that I usually end up going with. I love that it's free and it has a lot of flexibility. And I like that I can have two calendars at the same time. So then I only have to do this once every two months. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see that there are a few more options. So here's one for August. And let's stick with these two. So what you would do, and this August one is a dollar and this one is free. So you would take this guy out. You can leave it pink. We are heading into October. So you could bring up your calendar and October starts on the first. So you can just adapt these. They're easy to change out. And so what you'll do is you'll just have your calendar over here and change these numbers out. Really simple. And then what you can do is you can change the background. So what I do is I just stretch my image out. You can change the color so that it's more maybe your branding color. So if you are creating this for your tribe, um, you can definitely go ahead and personalize it with your own branding colors and maybe even add your logo. So if it's something that you are using Canva to personalize, then you have got some great options to do that. And then you can also play with this. You can just kind of bump up the transparency or move it back down. I hold in shift so that I can highlight all of this and move this guy if I wanted to. You can make it bigger and smaller. So if I wanted something like that, I have so much flexibility. So let's move on to the next one. I'm going to remove this background. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So we have August and September. And we need to change these to October. And November. And so I'm just going to change the colors a little bit to my branding colors. I'm going to change the Sunday guys out to my gold color. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit one and enter over here. And there's a space. See how before to have these look consistent, I'm just going to add in my space bar and then I'm going to bump up this guy because October has more weeks and then I'm going to move this guy up too. And now everything is right. So October starts on the first. That's all I needed to change. And then November is also, let's just double check, exactly the same. November starts on the Tuesday. Okay, great. Yeah, so this was August, September and they're exactly the same. So we just needed to add that one and change these and so that's perfect really easy it took me two minutes and now i'm just going to put in my image 
I love the saying over here, make today count. I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna maybe make it my own font and change this to matter. Stretch this guy out, position it exactly where I want it. And there I have a calendar that I can upload onto my desktop. Um, I have played around with a few different desktop image ideas. I know that some people, I just want to show you again the different layouts that there are. Some people really love these kinds of organizers. I find they make my desktop look too busy, so I'm not too fond of them. But if that is something that you like, then um, you can also go ahead and personalize these guys. You can also have a beautiful quote that's inspiring for yourself. These desktop, desktop layout options are really fun and flexible. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know as always if you have any questions and I hope you have fun using these desktop calendars.